The thing is though, if I'm going toward it, it's going to look more blue. And if I'm going away from it, it's going to look more red. And that's just Doppler <laughs> effect. For, okay, so back to Einstein with relativity. When you talk about light, so the rule is, the rule he discovered, he theorized about, was that light always appears to be going the same speed no matter what speed you're going, right? So if I'm running away from you and you point a flashlight at me, right? If, if I could detect the speed of the light coming from that flashlight, it would look like 186,000 miles per second, right? While I'm running away from it. If I'm running toward it, it's still gonna look like it hits at 186,000 miles per second, right? Okay. I guess that's 300,000 kilometers, you know, if you don't believe in freedom units. The thing is, though, if I'm going toward it, it's going to look more blue. And if I'm going away from it, it's going to look more red. And that's just Doppler effect. Right. Blue shift versus red shift. Exactly. So when you say a galaxy is red shifted, that means it's moving away from you. And the important thing that Edwin Hubble discovered, and again, <laughs> this was another one. He, he was actually working out of observatory by Flagstaff, Arizona, right? And what, what he found, and again, this was all like photographic plate and measuring things like with calipers, things like that. But what, what he, if you look at like the mathematics in their paper, they're doing this stuff by hand and they're drawing their logarithmic, their graphs at logarithmic scale, they're drawing them by hand, right? And what he found was that the further away a galaxy was, the more red shifted it was, which means the farther away it is, the faster it's moving away from you too. And that's, that's where you get the beginnings of the universe is always expanding.